let us see the demonstration of four training robots with autonomous feature. So in this project, we uh, provide the autonomous feature to this robot with help of servo motor and ultrasonic sensor. When the robot is moving, so if the obstacle is present in front of that, then the servo motor will rotate to the left side and check with the obstacle presence and right side and check with the obstacle presence. So if left side is also obstacle presence, then it will go with the right side. If front, left, right side, three sides obstacle presence, then automatically it will take the backward rotation and again it will go with the checking of the obstacles. So here these three uh, like uh, inputs like ultrasonic, servo motor and a brush, the front motor one. Interface it to the Arduino, you know. So the brush, brush motor will be controlled through the switch on off and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp battery this is the on off switch on so we can on off this friend motor also okay we have interface this ultrasonic sensor at pin number 2 and 3 and uh, robot movement L293D so with the help of this L293D motor driver we can control the robot movement in forward, backward, left, right directions and uh, this interface at the 10, 11, 12, 13 pins and servo motor interface at the pin number 9 so before demonstrating this, we should take care of the battery is under fully charging to charge the battery, connect the B to the B slots and on the power supply to the transformer, then there will be LED indication on the charging circuit, which will show the status of battery is charging. So it will take 6 to 8 hours maximum for full charge. So once the time completes, automatically this uh, charging circuit will block the current flow so that we can uh, save uh, this battery from overcharging and uh, next fill the water so for that so remove this velcro gently there will be is a we place on hold for air uh, free for this flow of this water for cleaning purpose and you can open the bottle and pour the liquid for cleaning purpose and fill it tighten the cap is very important otherwise the water may get leaked from the back side and this hole should be upside only and this is downside right and now tighten this velcro right and now let us see the demonstration on the floor so yeah, one more thing is like for a uh, like water purpose this is opening so you can check the water content so if full open the water will very flow high flow and low flow so drop drop so you can set that also right after that you can place it on the floor and you can on the robot i will just clean it a little so if the obstacle presents then we will check with the right Keep on reading for obstacle avoidance purpose. So the one feet of uh, distance only to stop rotating and check with the obstacle problem. Right. Yeah. Right. So the floor was mopped. It's clean now.